elimination. Rob versus right. Rosalina. And as we all know, both of these characters, well, I, I should say both of these players prefer this stage, actually. Yeah, that is very true. And as, as characters, I think Rosalina has no qualm with this, and I do think that this is one of the better stages for Rob. Yeah. And you just saw that yeah. Fair was not even strong enough, even after Luma practically being dead, that he yeah. could not knock it off. That's really sad. Because it was literally the gyro afterwards that killed it, and I don't think that does over 8%. I'm not sure. But. And not a lot of damage anyway, and we see that gravity pull. That's one trying to use it, but effectively being walled out right now by anti reflex. Yeah. And what I want to see from anti reflex, uh, comparison wise to I studying, is that he plays a little bit more relaxed when Luma is gone. I studying got consistently punished for being hyper aggressive, and. I didn't actually see the entirety of the set, so. I'll agree on with you I on only that. saw game three to be honest, but that was what I took away from it. Ah, okay. But at the same time, right now, anti reflex getting a really yeah. early kill. Already. Really like a Rosalina would with the up air. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a bit of karma on Rosalina's end. And oh man, this gyro play is crazy. Anti, anti reflex doing an amazing job at yeah. zoning out Rosalina and Ooh, Luma. That was almost already it. Luckily, Rob is a fat robot. Otherwise, he would have died there. Yeah. It's great that he's, he's made of metal, otherwise, if he was made of aluminium then, or oh, steel, or just, he'd be out of there. <laughs> Alright, so. So right now we see Reflex not even kill percent yet, whereas Rosaluma is going to have a really hard time staying alive for much longer. Oh, oh and that was such bad DI. Yeah. Dying at 50 when the grab hit. I wasn't going to just say Yikes. it flat out, but that was not the optimal DI. No. And that just took him out way Definitely earlier. Than not. I was going to say after that up air that the next down throw up air would do it. So after... After this first result we see right now, I'd say for Tatmon, go to Battlefield or something like that. Because a lowered ceiling appears to be in anti reflexes favor now. Um, yeah, it, unless he's able to avoid the grabs, in which case I also think that platform based stages would be optimal. But we are talking about Tatmon and he really loves his Omegas. Oh, yeah, he does. And he he's does. already setting up the yep. Quick Man stage for music. Wily Castle. I'm not sure if this is the optimal I one don't against agree with Raw. It, but but hey. at the same time, I could see why he picks this over. Um, I was going to say over Onet, but he always prefers the, the the Omegas that have walls on them. Yeah. Because that makes it harder, I assume, for Rosalina to get, get stuck. Five. Or stuck. Yeah, that's also a fair assumption. I mean, it actually makes it easier because you know which route they have to take. That's true, yeah. It's, they can just delay it by riding the wall instead of going straight up. And. As we see right now, just a bit of a zoning game between the two players. Not yeah. really too much happening right now. And I reflex gone opening there, but can capitalize on it. And it was in favor of Tatuman because he was just waiting for Aluma to return. Yeah. And what I like right now, which he didn't do much first game, is that every time Reflex comes in with a short up up air, he turns around so Luma does not get hit yeah. while he's shielding. What appears to be Reflex's strategy against Luma is just to get that gyro out in hand and just go absolutely ham and that's going to do it and the reflex only has 28% on yeah. him. And this is why I feel that lightweights do not like raw because those kill confirms come out oh. real early and they last yep. surprisingly long. And it's also very difficult to like, the eye to like be I honest. say that the, the kill confirm comes early but that's the thing, it, it becomes a kill confirm a little bit before it becomes the 50-50 against lightweights. Oh actually, oh really? I believe it's actually a, a <gasps> true combo on specific percentages against lightweights. Oh but that's crazy. But I'm, I may just be wrong but I, I'm pretty convinced it is like that. So right now Tataman has to make up once again for a stock deficit. Goes off stage for no reason really, but he does not lose stage control for it. Unfortunately for him, yeah. But right now with anti-reflex on the ledge, he needs to find a way to get back yeah, on. This is looking like a tough time for anti-reflex. And look at that range of gravitational pull. <laughs> and up smash actually beating out that Nair. You don't see something beating out that Nair. I mean... A whole of a lot. I mean, yeah, that, that's just Rosalina's up smash hitbox. It's huge, it's disjointed. Yeah. Unlike what some other people would like to believe. <laughs> But right now, that was... That was a clean kill, and he's only 23% behind right now. Sounds familiar, don't you think? But, but right now... <laughs> <laughs> so, Tatuan actually made up all of the deficit that he took from losing the first stock. But how is he going to keep that up? Is he going to be able to keep up the momentum? Because what we've seen so far in the set is just anti-reflex in neutral, being able to outplay Tatuan consistently with the gyro in hand. Yeah, what I mo mostly notice is, is exactly that. The neutral airs that Reflex is just very keen to throw out. Yeah. And Tatumon is just letting himself get hit most yeah. of the time. 
Oh, n okay, a really late air dodge there. That was the correct decision. What yeah. I'd like to see from Tatamon actually in neutral is whenever Anti-Reflex has the gyro in hand, is that he either jumps over it or just spot dodges it, because that way Anti-Reflex cannot get his gyro back. Um, assuming he has Luma, he cannot properly spot dodge that, oh, because then Luma right. still gets hit. You're right. But when he does not have Luma, he could actually try that as a mix-up compared to, like you said, jumping, turn around shield, and all other options that he's been throwing out so far. Oh, man. Tatamon trying to go deep trying to get it down in. Yeah, trying to hunt him there off stage, but... Throws him right back off. And this is scary. Nice B reverse by Anti Reflex to get out of this situation. If that one had opted for the up smash, he may have been able to take him out there, but he still has a lot of pressure on him, even without the Luma, who just returned from being hit. But Luma is really low right now when it comes to HP. So I think one neutral air landing would kill off Luma or a back air off stage. Yeah. Oh, and now nice Reflex snipe. has to control. <gasps> Two nice snipes. Wow. Very clean by Anti-Reflex. And Anti-Reflex is up 2-0, looking to get into top 3 yep. of the man, Avalon. The man who so rarely shows up, but when he shows up, he actually shows up. He, yeah. That's Anti-Reflex for you. That's how you would say that. Yeah, exactly. He shows up big time. And we're going back to Wiley Castle. Seems like oh. Tatamon is content with this stage. Yeah. He, he doesn't feel that the stage is the issue, mostly probably because it's a uh, comfort pick for him. I mean, whenever I play against him, he basically only wants to play on heavy. Oh yeah, same. He almost never goes to another stage. Ooh, very nice, that confirmed from yeah. the second hit of uh, neutral air into up smash, like he did before against Iceland as well. That was pretty beautiful. Nice craft gravitational pull. And again, the up smash trading with the Nair this time. <laughs> and Anti Reflex is out of there, a piece away from that situation. I don't blame him for it. Yeah. And most of the time, when Rosalina goes up, Rosalina goes up for the up air after a hit. She can't get a combo, so it's best to just go up. And with Rob having that up B with uh, a lot of um, fuel, yeah, he doesn't even have to use his double jump for it. You're right. So he keeps that mix-up option for later. To exactly. Land. But right now, Tatamon has a lot more control than the previous two games in the first stock. Yeah, it seems like he analyzed what he has to do differently and is executing it perfectly right now. Yeah. Sitting at a nice, l less than half, around half the percent. Yeah, approximately but half. There and that's going to do it. The Luma up air beating the neutral from Rob and then the Rosa up air, I believe, taking the kill. And now the ball is in anti-reflexes puck to make this comeback but he almost did it <laughs> almost did it with one oh. confirm that Metro was to upper. i've never seen that one before maybe that's a thing because rob is uh, such a huge body or maybe it was just a mix-up it might be oh that was a raw up smash reflex is getting a little bit desperate from yeah what I he's, tell. he's getting antsy he really wants that top three spot i can <laughs> tell you he, i think he just wants to win i don't think he's even concerning with actual placing right now. Oh, he is, he is, definitely. I talked to him beforehand, but <laughs> oh, that was too bad. Most definitely a misinput there. Grabs the gyro, but no. Tatamon's having none of it right now. And this is looking like a really rough matchup once Rosa gets in the lead. Yeah, it looks like, it's not, not even when she's in the lead, but when she has stage control, it's just like, what does Rob want to do? Yeah. Oh, that was a weird, weird decision. I thought he was going to down throw it, but oh, the down wow. air, however. What an answer by Tatumon, though, two stocking him back, saying, you might have won two games, but try to get that third, my boy. Yeah. But even though he took one, he has to take two more himself without dropping a single one right now. So that's going to be a toughie, definitely. Especially with Reflex now having the counterpick advantage. I'm going to assume he's going to pick that Battlefield. No? FD. Okay. I guess both players, like we said, really like the stage and we're going to have a full send on FD. Well, I am wondering how this will work out because the only thing different is as you set the walls on this stage. Yeah. I mean, uh, there might be a slight difference in the blast zones, but it's... It's minuscule. It's not notable enough, in my opinion. Exactly. And the gyro play coming back into yeah. play right now. Just anti-reflex looking to get rid of Luma first and then focus on actually getting rid of the Rosa. Yeah. And he got rid of Luma, so now he's going straight forward. But without the gyro, nice. the pressure game becomes a lot less threatening. Yeah, and it was a nice little... Gyro confirmed by Tatamon there, just a gyro into dash tag. And yeah, just getting those uh, small confirms sometimes is enough to just 
get the damage going, get yeah, the exactly. momentum going. And it was necessary because that meant that Amsterdam Reflex was off his case for the remainder of the Luma respawn. Yeah. And as you see, we, we see again that the short order that's just oh that poor fair just not being able to kill Luma in the slightest. Yeah, there, there's just some moves of which you expect them to do it. And that's going to do it, definitely. Yeah. All right. Once again, it, it's so weird to adopt the uh, the eye, the up air from Rob, because it it I just yeah you need to do it looks just odd. Like yeah. you expect to be able to just the eye one <gasps> side. That nair was super sneaky by Tatumon. The frame three nair coming through. Oh. I'm wondering how he escaped the situation there. It must have been a really hit, weak hit of the up air. Yeah, it was a weak uh, Rosa hit, and then he just missed? Yeah. That's what it looked like. Maybe the uh, Luma was just not in position. Felt like an air dodge. Anyway, right now, Tatumon trying to negate as much uh, damage as possible with him being in the disadvantage. I mean, right now with Anti Reflex having the, the stock lead, so oh. far, every single time the first player to take the first stock. Has one. Yeah. So He's this is not looking good for Tatamon, especially with all the damage that Anti Reflex is racking up right now. Exactly, because with all the rage, I could see Rosa dying to a yep. down throw up here right That's now. That's a 50 50 once. <gasps> all right. That was worth ballsy, rate. but it, wor it was worth it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, w like I mentioned earlier, with the up smash hitbox from Rosa, you are allowed to do those type of things. Yes, exactly. And even though it was a trade, he got the stock and got rid of Rob's rage. That was definitely worth it. But right now, all Rob has to do is get rid of Rose of Luma, and oh. then he can go for the throw combo. Oh, he doesn't my need them. Lord! Anti-reflex. Nice. He moves on to winners. Five.